Have you ever wanted to use Messenger as a communication channel for creating leads, cases, and contacts in Salesforce? What about for updating campaigns or triggering events? This demo is an example of just that. The scenario, a leasing client has a maintenance issue which needs immediate attention. The leasing agency has created a chatbot that will collect relevant information about the issue and will send that information to Salesforce for the creation of a case as well as for the notification of the property manager and the appropriate maintenance team. So let's go to the demo. Here is the welcome screen of the chatbot. It tells them exactly what to expect, that, that they could find help here for their maintenance issue and the only thing that we need to do now is to collect information. So the first piece of information that is being collected is their name. They just need to confirm it. With the confirmation of the name, Messenger sends a request to Salesforce to pull back the contact information for this individual, which will then be used later in the conversation. So now the chatbot is trying to collect information about the problem. It's going to categorize it. What type of problem are you having? I'm going to choose plumbing, but just know that there are other categories that the client can choose from. Now they want to know where the plumbing problem is. So I'm going to choose bathroom. It will then move on to ask for more details. This is where the client will need to type in the information. So I'm going to just I'm going to say there is a leak. under the basin and send that to the chatbot. So now, as I stated earlier, the name or the confirmation of the name triggered a request to Salesforce to pull back contact information. And so the chatbot wants to make sure that this is the right person and that we are sending the request for the right address. So I need to confirm the address. And with that, it will then request Salesforce to create a case and then pull back the case number. So it'll take a moment here. And now we have a case number 1033 and the client knows that Carl Benson will contact them within the next hour. So let's go to Salesforce to see that case. So here is the contact information for Monique Howard. And this here is an old case. I'm going to refresh. And what we will see is the new case 1032 has been created for that client. So as it's pulling back the contact information, I'm going to look under this under the related information for the contact and see that a case, I'm sorry, not 1032, 1033. So here the case number is 1033 and 1033, a plumbing um, item, a plumbing a case for a plumbing issue has been created. I will click on that case number. And to the right, I will go ahead and look at that particular case to see. Once again, it is a plumbing item. Um, the date and time that it was created and that there is a leak under the basin. So that was the information that I input into the chatbot. So this is just an example of how you can use Messenger on the front end to collect information from your client where it is then sent to Salesforce for your backend processing. So creating of the case, sending out notification, and um, working this ticket through the workflow or through the channel so that it can be addressed.